Shalom, Shalom Israel, coming back with another video. And this video I'm going into is going to be titled, People Honor the Most High with Their Lips, But Their Hearts Are Far From the Most High. Right? And I'm going to start off with the book of Mark, chapter 7, and verse 6. And it reads, He answered and said unto them, What well, hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites? As it is written, This people honoreth me, with their lips, but their heart is far from me, right? So, you know, a lot of people, they, they honor the Most High God, right, with their lips, but their heart, their mind is far from the Most High, right? Just like a lot of these, these so-called uh, pastors, right, in these churches, they say that they worship the Most High with their lips, right? But their heart, their mind is far from the Most High God because they're not teaching the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Instead, they're teaching contrary to the law and they're saying that the laws are done away with right so they honor the most high with their with their lips but their heart is far from the most high god right that's why it says well hath isaiah prophesied which is isaiah he prophesied of these hypocrites right because they say they love the most high but they're not doing anything to show forth that they do love the most high because we know that the most high god said if you love me keep my commandments right read on verse 7 how be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for, teaching for doctrines of the commandments of men, right? So in vain they do worship the Most High God, right? They worship the Most High God in vain by teaching the commandments of men, right? Teaching you that when you go to church, you have to pay tithes, right? When we know in the scripture that tithes uh, was food and, and, and corn and things of that nature, it, it, was, it was never money like that. Right. But these 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 false pastors and these these false teachers in these churches, they tell you what they want to teach. Right. They teach you what they what they what's on their mind. They're not teaching thus said the Lord. Right. They're teaching what they what they what they want to say. Right. They teach you that the laws are done away with. They're teaching that um, the most high God. It's like here. They're teaching that the most high God loves everyone. When we know that according to scripture, that ain't true. The Most High God don't love everyone. He has a chosen people, right? They're teaching you to come as you are, right? They're saying that you can be homosexual. You know that the Most High God will forgive them as long as they pay tithes. These people are teaching uh, four doctrines, you know, the commandments of men, right? Verse 8, for laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the traditions of men as the washing of pots and cups as many other such as like things ye do, right? So they lay, they lay aside the commandments of the Most High God, and they teach forth doctrines of men, right? They're laying up their own commandments of their own mind. It's so like you're teaching men so, right? They're leading, leading the sheep astray, right? They're keeping you in sin, right? Instead of teaching you what thus said the Lord um, said, right? Coming straight from the, from the scriptures, right? They read one scripture, and then they have a big old party, and then they go down into the kitchens or in their basements and they you guys eat pork, right? You know, they, they, they teach they teach our people, you know, the the wrong way. Right? They lay aside the most high God's commandments. Right. And we know that the most high God's commandments is the way. Right? You say ye hold the traditions of men, right? They hold on to the traditions of men, right? Of what they were taught by the, by by our, our oppressor, right? Our slave. Uh, masters back then when we were in slavery we we're still in slavery Salakia. but you know when they forced uh, Christianity uh, Catholicism and these things on our people they still hold forth on those traditions of those men who have taught them right and that's going off right instead of teaching the people the right way and teaching our people that they are the uh, the uh, the, the true children of the Most High God, that we are the true Israelites according to the Bible, and that we must keep the commandments of the Most High God because we know that Christ himself said that the laws are not done away with, right? Let me get, um... Matter of fact, I'm going to read on them and get that. Get that in Matthew. It says, um, As the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things ye do, Verse 9, and he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own traditions. Right? So he, he said, Full well, right? 
you you fully reject the commandment of the Most High God, right? These people who worship the Most High God with their lips, right? And they're not they're not fully sincerely worshiping the Most High God the way that they're supposed to, right? They fully reject the commandment of the Most High God, and it's commanded of us to obey these law, statutes, and commandments, and to teach, you know, our brother and sister so, right? And your children, right? We're commanded to to obey. And love the Most High God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, and all our strength. Right? But he said, and, and he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. Right? So these men, they want to keep their own tradition. Right? Teaching all manners of folly in their churches. Right? Keeping you in sin. Right? As long as they get your dollars, they get your money, they don't, they, they're not worried about your salvation. They worried about their, their pockets getting filled up so they can go buy boats, houses, cars, right? Jets, right? With your money, right? Why are they leading you astray, right? So we got we to gotta, we gotta come up out of that stuff and we got to come back to the lost statue commandments of the Most High God because that's the only way, right? In the book of Matthew chapter 5 and 17, you know, Yahweh Shai said this out of his out of his own mouth. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Right? So Yahweh Shai didn't come to destroy the, the law or the prophets. He said he came not to destroy, but to fulfill. Right? To fulfill the things that was written of him. Right? That he had that he had to come and, and, and you know die for our sins, right? And he'll arise back and, and you know, come back in three days. Right? He, he, he came to fulfill the things of him. To die for the nation of Israel. Which is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native uh, Indians. Right? Of, of, of indigenous. Right? Or, or so-called uh, Negro descent. Right? Verse 18. For verily I say unto you. Till heaven and earth pass. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. To all be fulfilled. So Yahushua I said, until heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall no wise pass from the law. Right? So you can clearly look up and see that heaven is still here. Right? You can still clearly see that you're still on earth. So it has not passed away. So that means the law is still in effect to this very day. He said, until all be fulfilled, because there's still prophecies in this in this in the in the Holy Bible. That are has not been fulfilled yet, right? World War Three, right? Martial law, right? Um, you know these other nations going into 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 captivity, right? To be slaves, right? There's many prophecies in in the scripture that still has not been fulfilled, right? Uh, verse nineteen: Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, right? Like these false prophets, these false teachers, these 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 so called uh, uh priests and things like that in these churches, right? They teach forth doctrines of men, right? So they're teaching you to break the most high God's commandments. Right? So what does it say? Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, right? Like eating pork, shaving your beard, uh women wearing pants, right? Things like that. If you break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Meaning you you, you ain't going to make it to the kingdom. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called the great. So like if the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So if you teach these lost that your commandments, right, to your fellow brother or sister that's an Israelite, right, the most I got said you will be, you'll be uh, called great in the kingdom of heaven, right? And that's a beautiful thing. So you don't want to be like these these uh people that honor the most high God with their lips, but their heart is far from him. They're teaching what they want to teach, and that they're not teaching thus saith the Lord coming straight from the scripture. They just want your dollars. Right? Let's go back to the book of Isaiah. So like you. Yeah. Isaiah twenty nine and verse thirteen. And it reads Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, do honor me. 
but have removed their heart far from me. And their fear, like and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men, right? So the Most High God said these people draw near to Him, right, with their mouth, you know, and with their lips they honor the Most High God, right? You know, like people saying, "Oh, I love God," or, you know, me and God have a special relationship. You know, they always, you know, supposedly reading the Scripture, but they ain't really reading it. You know, they honor the Most High God with their lips, right? They draw near to Him with their mouth, but their heart is far from Him. Because as soon as you t you tell them, hey, you know what, brother? You can't shave your beard, right? Or you can't eat pork. Then all of a sudden, it's a problem. But before that, they're, they're saying that they, that they, you know, they worship the Most High God. But when you start bringing, breaking down these laws to them, now all of a sudden, they tell you the law is done away with. You know, now we're under grace, right? And things like that. But we know that these people, they truly are not um, honoring and worshiping the Most High God, right? And that's going off, right? Because in the book of Romans, it's like, yeah, Romans 6 and 1, it says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Yeah, how will forbid? How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Right? So we cannot continue in sin, breaking laws that your commandments just because we're under grace. Right? And that's what a lot of these people that worship and honor the most high God with their lips will say. Oh, we're under grace. You know? And they're not truly understanding what that what that means. Right? A grace period is a grace period for us to get get ourselves together, to come back to these laws that your commandments and obey and do them and walk in them. Right? Just like if you have to pay rent and you're late. And your manager or your landlord comes and say, you know, I'm going to give you a, 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 a two-week grace period to get that money. Once that grace period is up and you ain't got that money, you got to go. So the same thing with this grace that the Most High God has given us, right? When Yahushua comes back and you're not ready, hey, and you still smoking weed, still shaving your beard, still eating pork because you thought that you was under grace and everything was all good, right? Then you're going to see that you was wrong and you're going to be destroyed for that, Right? Because the Most High God is not playing, right? So we, we should not continue in sin because we know that sin is transgression of the law, right? It's like, and let me get that. I believe it's in two. It's like, yeah. Here we go. First John 3, right? So you cannot continue in sin, right? And sin is transgression of the law. So if you're if you're you you're teaching men um, doctrine, if you're teaching uh, doctrines of of men, right, and not not the Most Highest Commandments, then your transgression is law because you're teaching men to break the laws, right? First John three and four: Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So if you break any of these law statute commandments, you're in sin. So that's a, that's what these false these false prophets do. These these so called priests in these churches, right? They teaching the laws are done away with. That's sin within itself because they teaching you to to don't obey the Most High God, right? They lying to you right there in your face, and then passing the collection plate around telling you to throw some money in there, right? So our people need to wake up because th this is this is serious, you know. And a lot of people ain't going to make it because they're getting led astray, right? And if you're not fully and sincerely um, obeying and worshiping the Most High God and following the law, statute, and commandments, right? The Most High God ain't even going to hear your prayers, right? So we got to get on this. We got we to do what we're supposed to do and come back to what the Most High God um, wants us to do. Because our whole duty on earth is to obey and follow these law, statute, commandments and worship the Most High God with all our heart, all our mind, our soul, and all our strength. Love our brothers as we love ourselves. Right? And that's real, you know? We get the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 15, and verse 8. You know? You can't just be saying you love the Most High God and all these things because there's a way that you show the Most High God you love Him. Right? You cannot be honoring the Most High God with your mouth. Right? 
because we we know that the most high God don't even hear sinners. Right? And you're considered a sinner if you're breaking the law, statute, commandments. So so who are you really worshiping? Right? You're worshiping Satan. Right? If you're not obeying these law, statute, commandments, and you just worshiping the most high God with your mouth, who are you really worshiping? Right? Because the most high God told us that we, we he he wants us to do something. Right? It's a book of uh, Matthew chapter 15 and verse 8. Salakia. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Right? But in vain they do worship me. Right? In vain they worship the Most High God. Right? Teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Right? That's what these, that's what these false prophets do. These so-called pastors in these churches do. In vain do they worship the Most High God. How you up there teaching the word of the Most High God? You got a shaved head, no beard on your face, and you eating pork, and you telling everyone that God loves everyone and to come as you are. You letting sodomites in there, homosexuals, uh, lesbians, and you tell them that it's all right. Right? That's going off. Right? Because that's what Esau says. He says a man can be a woman and a woman can be a man and everything's all good. Right? Now you have men having, having babies. And this is crazy. Right? Teaching for doctrines of men. But as soon as you come out the law and tell them, look, it, uh, you're going to be put to death if you sleep with a man as you do with a woman. Then all of a sudden, they don't, they, they, they tell you the law is done away with and things like that. These people are just lost. Right? So we got to come from, a, from, from out of that. Stay away from that stuff. Right, the Most High God has true prophets out there, that's on these on these on these street corners, on these videos that's breaking breaking down the scriptures, so that you can really understand what's going on, right? So you got to honor the Most High God, you know, with your heart, with your mind, all your soul, right? What works, right? Faith and works. You have to show the Most High God, right? You can't just. Tell him that you love him and then that's it. No, you have to show him that you love him. And the way you show him is by obeying these law, statutes, and commandments. Right? And know that there's only one true one true God, which is Yahweh and, 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 and his son, Yahweh Shai. Right? And, and, and you know, through, 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 through Yahweh Shai, you know, he's going to come down and he's going to, he's going to, um, you know, beam us to the chariots and come down here and, and, and destroy all the wicked people down here. Slakia. We get the book of uh First John. Two and three. And it reads, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Right. So we know that we, we know the most high God if we keep his commandments. Right. We know that we know Yahweh if we keep his commandments. He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Right. So these false prophets, these false priests, they aren't keeping the commandments of the most high God. Right. But they say they know the most high God. Every Sunday they're in that church lying to you. The truth is not in him. Right? What's the truth? So like, let me read verse 5. But whosoever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby we know that we are in him. Right? So we have to keep the word of the Most High God. Right? We have to keep these law, statutes, and commandments. Right? John 8, 32. It says, And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Right? And what's the truth? Right? Let's get the truth. Let's get the truth. Because he said, you shall know the truth and the truth, sh truth shall set you free. Right? And it reads, well, Psalms 119, 142. The right, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. The law is the truth. 
So if you say you know the most I got, you say you know your house side, but you ain't keeping the law. The truth ain't in you. The law ain't in you. Right? So we have to we have to our we have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the most high God. That's the truth. Right? We get the book of first John and three. There's John 3 and verse 5. And you know, it's like it, and ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him is no sin. It's like you. Like you, that's what I want. First John 2 and 5. Like you, but whoso keepeth his word, and him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby, hereby know we that we are in him, right? So we keep the word of the most high God, keep the law, statute, commandments. We know that we are in him, right? But Lord willing, this video was edifying. To the next video, I bid you shalom.